Hello, I'm Mark Hall Patton. I'm the administrator of the Clark County Museum System and I would like to invite you to come out to our Heritage Street. I want to introduce you today to the P.J. Goumond House. This is a house that was built in downtown Las Vegas in 1930 and was purchased by Prosper Goumond, who owned the Boulder Club downtown in 1935. And it's been restored to the late 1950s when it was rebuilt. So let's take a look inside and take a look around. When you come into the Goumond house, you might notice initially that the colors are a little different. All of these colors are exactly correct to 1959. And you can see that Mr. Goumond is home from work at the Boulder Club. He's got his martini there and is resting. He's loosened his tie a little bit. This home is restored to the time period of the late 1950s. It'll show you how people lived in the Vegas Valley at that time. One interesting aside on the home are these little doors on either side. A lot of people think these might be for a pocket door going across. They're not. This is actually where you'd keep your card tables. You know, so you had your card tables and your chairs available when you had friends over. The dining area here shows the they're getting ready to sit down. They've got their cherry cake and are waiting for friends to come over. The home was uh, rebuilt in the late 1950s, so we restored it to that time period. But it was the first home in the Vegas Valley to have an in-ground pool and originally had a full basement. Interesting, it looks like it's a two-story home, but it didn't actually have an upstairs area. The beams that were used for the ceilings were not large enough, were not heavy enough to actually hold a second floor. So it's really only a one-story house. Now you can look in here and see the uh, kitchen area. They've got their Formica table and everything is getting ready. The Goumons did have domestic help and so we show that in the interpretation. Actually the Goumons had both a maid and a cook. But as you walk through the house you'll see just how people lived during the 1950s and into the 1960s in the Vegas Valley. One of the things we have done, you can't actually walk into all of the rooms, but where we can, we have opened up the doors so you can see just what the bathroom looked like and just what the bedroom looked like. And as with all of our homes, we always set aside one room to interpret the time period. So when you come into the Goumond house, we interpret the rise of television and the test site. These are all early televisions from the museum collection and a wonderful end table that was actually built by a woman who worked at the uh, Desert Inn out of dice from the Desert Inn. These are all televisions that were used in this area. And of course the other thing that was uh, a major part of the 1950s and 1960s was the test site. And so we have some of the information about the test site and some of the things that went along with that. We use the test site as part of our advertising. This is an atomic ashtray. Uh, one thing, this is Melmac down here. Melmac is actually the substance that survives the closest to the epicenter of an atomic blast. And as I always like to point out, this is the earliest a uh, cover article about Las Vegas that asks, is the boom overextended? Now this is in 1955. Now there's nothing new under the sun. We also have a small exhibit here about the last of the uh, civil defense shelters, the bomb shelters that were here in the valley. These were actually throughout the valley and we were ready just in case. Thankfully, we never had to use them. Thanks for taking a tour with me. We hope to see you out here at the museum. Remember, we're open 9 to 4.30, seven days a week, and it's only $2 a head. We are definitely the best bargain in the Vegas Valley. So come on down.